Well, I'll start with the good news. Your tulips and daffodils, those are safe. They can handle the cold temperatures, but other things are in danger. And if you plan on protecting them, you could be in for a long night. When you can't mess with Mother Nature, <laughs> she calls the shots. She sure does. And this year, she's decided why not hit Michigan with a snowstorm after tricking them with summer-like temperatures in early April. I'm more worried about the temperatures if they get below 32, because once they get down to 31, 30 degrees, the cells of the plant start to freeze and the leaves start to die. Here at Panetta's Landscaping Supply in Westland, people are stocking up on burlap. We're going to wrap it around the tree to protect all the buds on it. Ron Panetta says this could help, but it won't be as effective as insulating your trees with ice by misting them with water after sundown. So you may have to get up two or three times in the middle of the night and water your, those, that special tree that you don't want to lose its leaves. Perennials, thankfully, aren't as tedious. For perennials, I would recommend like putting a bucket over them. And potted plants are easy. Just bring them inside. And I wouldn't even bring them in the garage. If it's a detached garage, I would actually bring them into the house. Ron also says if your plants don't look great after this storm, don't panic. It's not going to kill them. It's going to kill the leaf. It's going to kill the bud. We may not have flowers on our azaleas or our rhododendrons, but come June, they'll re-leaf out and they'll look beautiful. Now, Ron tells me the rule of thumb for planting your annuals is usually Mother's Day. However, Mother's Day comes a little early this year, so you may want to play it safe and wait until the middle of May. In Westland, I'm Kim DiGiulio, Local 4.